So you may recognize one of these instruments as it's utilized in almost every single initial patient encounter in most doctor's offices. And it's usually a hammer that the doctor uses to hit your knee just like that. Now, what are we really measuring here? Why is the doctor hitting your basically kneecap or patellar tendon with a hammer? And there are actually many different reasons for this because this is actually a tool which we can gain insights into your neurological system and your neurological functioning. So what we're actually doing here is we are stimulating the mechanoreceptors in this tendon to fire as a result to, of a quick stretch imparted into the tendon as a result of being hit with this. So this is actually called a deep tendon response, but this is sort of a misnomer in that we're not activating the Golgi tendon organ mechanoreceptors, we're actually activating the muscle spindle mechanoreceptors. So Golgi tendon organs respond to too much tension by relaxing our muscles, and muscle spindles respond to too much stretch, which we are imparting a quick, very fast stretch into the tendon with this device. This one is just the same thing as one of these, but it has a little bit of a better weight distribution, which gives us a little bit of a more accurate reading. As you can see, the response is a little bit greater there. So we're imparting a quick stretch and we are actually facilitating activation of the muscle spindles, which activates a closed reflex loop that goes to our spinal cord and then right back down to our knee in order to make that activation occur. And now you might be wondering, well, when the doctor hits my knee, nothing happens. And this happens in a lot of athletes, especially football players, lifters, things like that, because the amount of stretch imparted by this small instrument isn't enough to get you to threshold in order to get the motor units to fire. So actually what you can do is something called a gin Jurassic maneuver. And what that looks like is, Ben, let me just have you pull your hands apart as hard as you can. And then if we hit after that, we'll actually get a greater response. The reason that we get a greater response is that we're putting out more motor output from our motor, motor cortex. And what that does is that brings us a little bit higher, a little bit closer to the threshold in order to make these motor units fire. So there are a couple different ways that you can do it. You can pull the hands apart, you can grit your teeth, you can do all kinds of different things. As long as this muscle is relaxed, you're bringing yourself closer to motor threshold. And then when we impart that quick stretch, we have a smaller distance to go to hit that threshold and get these motor units right here to fire. Kind of cool, right? Yeah. <laughs>